Do, do you believe, just leading on from what you've said, that the space that you operate in, the IT space, the development of apps, etc., is where the opportunity lies? Because when there's red tape, maybe you can develop an app, maybe you can do something. Um, where, what if somebody is not in the IT space? Is it not maybe more difficult for them to see the opportunity? Uh, so, the first thing is opportunities don't lie in particular fields, they lie where problems are. So, uh, every time somebody makes money, it's because they've solved somebody's problem. And it's a problem that people are willing, people are willing to pay you to solve. So, whether it's like a dental problem, or whether it's a social network problem, or it's a money problem, whatever. You know? So, you, at the end of the day, you have to solve a problem that people are willing to pay you for. So, you really want to live in a country with lots of problems, if you want to be <laughs> And that's why we're so lucky in South Africa. <laughs> we have all these problems. Because every time there's a problem, there's a solution. And, but you don't want to live in a country that has got no infrastructure. You know, so I can, there are a lot of countries in the world that are much worse than South Africa. Everywhere. But they also have no infrastructure. So they don't have roads, they don't have a nice airport, they don't have nice hotels, there's no broadband. I mean, Nigeria is pretty hard to do business in. Nairobi, incredibly hard to do business in. Egypt, drop a bomb, start again. The, there are big chunks of the world where you can see all these problems, but you can't really tackle the problems because it's too difficult to do business. And South Africa's got this blessing of first world infrastructure and third world opportunity. I don't think tech is an edge anymore. There was a time for about 20 years where if you were in tech, you were going to make money because it wasn't a commodity, but it has become commoditized. I'm sorry to tell you that. Um, so the computer science division, IT departments are producing people that have massively valuable skills, but they're no longer monopolies on those skills. And so I really think the, the real opportunity comes from people with domain expertise outside of tech that partner with people with tech expertise to solve problems that are not technical problems. You know? So solve education. Education is a whole field in its own. Educators are the only ones who understand those problems. They need to find techies who can help them solve those problems.